See you 614, 75 degrees. Now, a number of cell phone carriers are starting to launch 5G networks. Can you believe that? But what does that really mean? And is 5G really better than 4G? Our Matt Gregory did some digging to find the difference. This week, we're digging into the future of cell phone tech. 5G, which stands for fifth generation of mobile networking. Tech experts, tech experts as I call them, believe this could open the next industrial revolution. Less smoke and steam, more phones and geeks. You get the idea. 5G will be at the very least a technological revolution. And here in the US, wireless companies are rushing to get their networks up and running. How big a deal is it? Well, those same tech experts say 5G will run 100 times faster than our current 4G networks. I guess the speed of instant gratification isn't fast enough for some people. It's not just faster though. 5G could power networks and appliances. And for the sci-fi nerd, it will move self-driving cars faster to the line. And that's why phone giants AT&T, Verizon, and Sprint slash T-Mobile, that merger's probably gonna go through, are racing each other to get their networks up to speed. But that's not the real race. The real one is the 5G race with China, the president's favorite topic. China's hustling to complete their network, and depending on the day, the United States and China are either neck and neck or the US has a slight lead. Now, this is a big deal. Whoever has the more successful 5G service, in theory, would become the technological capital of the world. And in a race for top speed, whoever gets there first will probably be the winner. And before